Hi everyone, today we're going to learn how we can make a visually appealing dashboard like this. We'll be using pivot tables and different charts to build our dashboard. So before beginning, let us take a look at our data that we're going to use to build our dashboard. It has order ID, order date, shipping date, as well as the shipping mode, and then the customer information, their city state zip code, and the product details as well as the quantity, discount and profit. So first thing we're going to do is to create pivot tables that we're going to use to build our uh, charts later on. So I'm going to select all of the data and then go to insert pivot tables and click OK. So first thing we need is to create a table having a profit based on segments. So I need segment under rows and profit as values. So I'll rename this and correct the formatting. Next I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. And now I'll replace segment with category. I'll rename the heading and sort this largest to smallest. Okay, next I'm going to copy this again. And this time I'll replace category with the region. And again, I'm going to sort this largest to smallest. And let me rename this to region. I'll copy this table again. And this time we need city instead of segment. And with sum of profit, we also need sum of sales. Okay. And I'll sort this largest to smallest. And we only need top eight cities having the highest number of sales. Therefore, I'll click this filter button and go to value filters and select top 10. And I need top eight based on sum of sales so these are our top eight cities having highest number of sales i'll copy this table and i'll also update the heading this time i need the shipping mode instead of city name so where is mode here you go okay again i'll sort this largest to smallest and i'll rename this to mode next we need uh, sum of our sales sum of total profit and the sum of quantity For this, I will simply use the sum formula. Sum of profit and sum of quantity. Let's correct the formatting. Now our pivot tables are ready and we will go ahead and create our charts. 
So before creating our chart, let us create a layout of our dashboard so that once charts are ready, it's easier for us to place them. So first I'll click on the table and I'll go to pivot table data analyze pivot chart and we will create a donor chart. I'll get rid of these buttons and we do not need this as well. I'll update the heading. I will control X and paste the chart over here. Let us rename this sheet as well. Okay. So I'll click on the second table and I'll again create a donor chart. Again, I'll get rid of the unnecessary stuff. I'll rename the heading to Profit by Category. Control X and paste it over here. Now click on the third table and go to pivot table analyze again and this time we'll create a line chart. I'll get rid of these grid lines. I don't need this as well. I'll remove buttons and we'll rename the chart title. and we will add labels next i'll control x next is our chart for the city again i'll go to pivot table data analyze <coughs> and pivot chart this time I'll create a 2D bar chart. Again, get rid of the buttons. Right click and go to hide all field buttons on chart. I need chart title, so I will add this on Sorry, not access title, chart title. Profit and sales by city. Again, I'll control X and paste it to the dashboard.
so our final chart will be for the profit and sales by mode I'll click on the table go to pivot chart and I'll select the bar chart again get rid of the buttons this we can show on the top and we need chart title as well that too on the top and this will be profit by mode again control x paste to the dashboard Now we'll do some quick formatting. First of all, we'll remove these backgrounds. So I'll go to format, shape fill and no fill. Let us hold this a little and also change the colors. We'll do the same for the other charts. dashboard is almost ready we'll just add the heading let's increase the font size finally we'll create some shapes and we'll go to insert shapes and create this shape Click on no fill. And give the reference from your pivot table. Control D to duplicate. change the reference I press control D again and again change the reference correct the formatting Now create another text box maybe and from shape fill no select no fill and from shape outline select no outline and give the reference of the heading. Control D to duplicate, change the reference, Control D again and change the reference. We we'll use the format paint to correct the formatting.
so our dashboard is almost ready i hope you like this video if you want more of these dashboards keep watching thank you